Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this free class, I'm going to teach you about creating a portfolio with projects inside your Squarespace website. We're gonna take a look at how to create the portfolio, how to change the layout or the way those projects are displayed, and some other important settings that you need to be aware of when you create one in your own site. Then we'll dig into a project. I'll show you how to create a new one, edit an existing one, and how to duplicate any projects inside that portfolio, as well as adjust the settings for the individual projects themselves. We've got a lot to cover, so let's hop into my demo site and get started. So here we are in my demo site. I've got an outline for us to keep track of all the things we're gonna cover. Let's start with the first one, creating a new portfolio. From our main menu, select Pages, and then you can click this plus sign to create that collection page. If we click this one up here, it'll be a part of our main navigation right away. So I'm gonna go down here to the not linked section to create this portfolio so I can work on it before other people will see it in my navigation. Clicking that plus sign, you can select portfolio, which is your third collection page option down here. And selecting that will take you to this screen right here that shows you all the different layouts you can choose. Now, good news, doesn't matter which one you start with, you can always change it after you've created it. So let's just go ahead and select Portfolio 1. Squarespace created the portfolio for us down here, and what's highlighted is the name. Change that to anything you want. And let's go ahead and click Edit on the top left-hand side so we can take a look at this layout. Now, I want you to notice this first part right here is actually its own section. Underneath it is where all of the projects are displayed for that portfolio. You can add more sections if you'd like, or just click this plus sign right here to add any other content block you want to that section itself. If you wanna add an entirely new select section, just select add section right there at the top, and you can grab one of these pre-made templates or add a blank one just like you would in a standard page. Now let's go ahead and scroll down because I'd love to talk about the layout settings for this particular portfolio. All of these are published projects here inside the portfolio. But if I click this icon for edit section, this is how I can change the layout. It's set to grid overlay, but I actually have five that I can choose from. Hover follow cursor, hover fixed, hover background, and grid overlay. Now each one of these you'll notice has a bunch of settings underneath it that are changing. Definitely pay attention to all these settings beneath until you find the perfect look for your own site. Full and inset will bring it in closer to the edges or farther away from the edges. You can change the height, number of columns, all kinds of fun stuff specific to that particular layout. I also want to mention if you click on background, this is where you can add an image or a video background to the section, just like a standard page section. And you can also change the color theme. Clicking on colors allows us to pick any color theme we want for the portfolio itself. Again, this is where the list of projects is displayed. I'm gonna go ahead and select save and I'll show you how we got there one more time. We're here in the portfolio itself. I'm just going to select edit and here I can add sections to it. Also, I forgot to mention, use those arrows to rearrange the sections if you like. And when you hover over the section that has all of your projects in it, click on this icon right here and you can change the layout to anything you'd like at any time. All right, we'll go ahead and select done because there's one more spot to check out the settings for the entire portfolio. If you click on this gear icon right here on our pages menu, you'll be taken to the portfolio settings. This is where you can change the title of the page. That's what shows up in the browser itself. The navigation title, that's what will show up in my main menu when we pull the portfolio up there. The URL slug, that's the URL for the entire portfolio where people will see this list of projects. And then you can password protect it if you want to. The standard page settings are there. We also have the SEO tab to add a title and description and a social share image, which Facebook will pull when any time a link to just the portfolio page is shared on social media. We also have the advanced tab if you wanna add some page header code injection there. All right, I'll select close. Again, that was the gear icon right next to the name, or there's one more way to get there. We can click into the portfolio itself, seeing our whole list of projects, and again, click this gear icon next to the name, and you'll get that settings menu for things like the title, the URL, SEO, social share image, and code. Alrighty, those are the settings for the portfolio. Let's talk about the individual projects inside. If I click into this project right here, it'll take me to that project page. Selecting edit, this project page acts almost exactly like a standard page here in edit mode. I can add as many sections as I'd like. I can select add section 
and grab any of these pre-made templates or add a blank one. I'll go ahead and click close. You can rearrange these in any way that you'd like. It works like a standard page, except at the very bottom, if we scroll down here, you'll see we have pagination. That'll take us to additional projects inside that portfolio. That's one of the main differences here. The other difference is the URL, and let me show you how we change that. We'll select Done, and I'm going to click these three dots next to the name for the project. There, I can open up my Settings menu. These are the settings for the individual project. Here is where I changed the thumbnail image that was shown on the Portfolio Collection page. Remember that main page that had the list of all the projects? This is where it got that image from. And then here I have the title for the project, and this is very important. This is where you can type a custom URL specific for the project. So when someone visits this project on your site, they'll go to your main website, forward slash the URL for the portfolio, forward slash the URL for the project. Now underneath that, we've got an important note here, duplicate. If you already have a project and you love the layout of it, but just want to change the content, you can select duplicate and Squarespace will make a copy of that project for you. I also want to mention there's the SEO tab here where you can add a title and description and again the social share image. You'll notice there's no advanced option. That's because any code you want to add needs to be done on the portfolio level, not the project level. I've got some more information about code and some other tutorials. Let's focus on the basics here, okay? Again, we have the social image. You can upload a custom one for the project, SEO for the project, and here in general, this is where you change the thumbnail that's shown on the whole portfolio page where it lists all of the projects. This is where you change the title and the URL. Let's go ahead and select Save, show you how we got there one more time. If we click this little icon right here with the three dots and select Settings, that will take you to your Project Settings menu. Now, if you wanna rearrange the projects, it's super easy. You literally drag and drop them into whatever order you'd like them to, to be displayed in your portfolio. And if you wanna create a new one, we click this plus sign right here. You can select one of the pre-made templates, just like pages, they're completely customizable, so don't worry which one you start with, you can always change it later, or you can just add a blank one. I'll go ahead and select Project 3, and you'll see my settings open automatically. Here's where I can add a thumbnail, the title, update the URL to whatever I want, SEO information, and social image. Let's go ahead and select Save. And I'm going to click edit here to show you one more time. Selecting edit on the individual project, we'll be able to edit these sections just like we would any page on our Squarespace website. I'll go ahead and select done and navigate out of here. I've got one more cool thing to show you. Let's say you've got the perfect portfolio ready. How do we get it into your main navigation? Drag and drop, my friend. Drag that new portfolio up to the very top. And now when I click on this portfolio, it'll take me to the portfolio page that all of the projects are inside. You'll see they're no longer in order of one, two, three, because we dragged them around and changed that order itself. But this is where all of the projects inside that portfolio are displayed. And there you have it. That's the quick overview of how to set up a portfolio of projects in your Squarespace website. Remember that both of them are completely customizable. You can add all kinds of page sections, no matter what layout you start with, you can always change it later. Inside those projects, you can add individual blocks of content like buttons, audio files, video, whatever you'd like to. Anything you can add to a standard page, you can also add to a project. Just make sure you update the thumbnail in the project settings, and that will change how it's displayed on the portfolio page itself. Alrighty, that's it for this free training. I hope you learned something awesome. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series to learn more about using Squarespace 7.1, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.